Here's Figgy and our update. Um, it's been a few days since we updated. Um, things have been crazy around the house with the orphan puppies and um, just kind of trying to process everything. So we sent him in for that uh, chest x-ray to hopefully have this lump here um, right there have that removed and they did find that it has spread to his lungs which means he is no longer a surgical candidate um, so we're really bummed out about that and um, we are here at Nashville again um, at the vet for his appointment today to see uh, what our next steps are so um, just trying to He's, he's in good spirits. Um, he was really, really not feeling good that day. We picked him up after having been sedated for the chest x-rays. Um, but the next day he was back to himself. Just going to wait out in the car. We're not going to go inside. The floors are slippery inside, so it's kind of hard for him to navigate those floors in there. Huh, buddy? Yeah. Well, he's still a good boy. He looks forward to his treats at night, and he's got his beds, and he wants cuddled. Still, you can see he's still trying to paw. These, these things on his feet are, are uh, a battle. Um, but, oh, that's calling. Here we are. We just met with Vicky Fu. Yeah, Aiden's back there with him. Um, we just met with the doctor, and I recorded the conversation. I hope that um, it's, that you can hear it. But basically what we're doing is he's going to be on a brand new protocol um, and there are chemos because we have metastasis which means it's spread um, he is going to start on a new chemo it's an oral chemo that can be administered at home in combination with a blood pressure medication and um, it's a newer thing they have shown some efficacy in reducing the lung nodules with this protocol so it may work it may not work but um, they the doctor was kind of on the same uh, thought process as we are. I'd rather uh, him be part of something that's new and maybe um, might work better than what we know we have currently that really doesn't work. So um, unfortunately he said in these cases it's generally only a couple months that we have. Um, maybe this new treatment will help slow things down a little bit but I will put the entire conversation in here as well. So I thank everybody for following Figgy on this uh, horrible journey we're having. He's been on the fenbendazole dewormer. Uh, doesn't seem like that's doing anything, so we're going to pull him off of that. He's also been on higher dosages of the turkey tail mushrooms. He's been on lion's mane mushroom. Um, not really sure whether that's doing anything or not, but it's not hurting, so we're going to continue with that. He had been on, um, I forget the name of it, but natural anti-tumor type um, herb that comes in a capsule form that someone had suggested. We tried that. Uh, this is just really aggressive with him, unfortunately. Um, and we are, we're doing the best we can. And we're just loving the crap out of him in the meantime. I'm trying to find all natural treats and things like that that he can have. And I think I'm going to try to switch him onto a ketogenic diet and potentially implement fasting one day a week. I will either attach that conversation to the end of this video or more probably I will go ahead and make it its own video and you can just hear that. So that's our update for today. You just know that Figgy's very loved and I always send him all the love and support from everyone else who loves him. He does actually have a litter coming. Um, it will be his probably last natural litter. We do have him frozen so we can have some Figgy babies in the future. Uh, for anyone who hasn't been following us along, this is not an inherited or genetic condition. I do have a video of the vet explaining that as well, so no need to worry about that if you already have a figgy baby or you're potentially getting one in the future.